Here we are, ready to go, learn some math. We have a show. I'll stop singing soon. I'm sure to stop singing now. That's all right. All right, here we go. Sorry, I know you guys expect better from me. So, learning card four, re systems in real life. Yeah, I know, right? Now, again, remember, some of this stuff may, at this point, now that you've been doing this for three or four days, is going to seem like, why am I writing all this stuff down? Again, our goal here actually is two or three days. Um, the goal here is to have something that when you look back at it later, that if you don't remember all the steps, that you can work your way through it. So we've got this situation. Two families are taking their children and friends to a zoo for a birthday party. Why not? The zoo is a great place. Also a great date for, place for a date. Lots of stuff to talk about. Don't have to worry about conversation. Things to do. You're walking. You're active. Anyway. Cost of the admission for the first family was $162 for 12 children and 3 adults. Second family paid admission was $122 for 8 children and 3 adults. How much is the admission for each child and adult? Okay. First idea number one. First thing that I would do is that I would rewrite the big ideas. And do this in words. Don't worry about doing it in math. Just write out the key information. So like here, idea number one, 12 kids and three adults cost $162. Okay? You're just highlighting the important information. That is all. So the second one, same idea. Eight kids. And three adults. $122. dollars What's the important information? Mr. Hayes, it sounds like an English class. Yeah, you're right. Real life is all about stuff like that. Step two, write the sentences as equations. So now we're going to turn this into math. And let's face it, I, I mean, for most of this, you guys know how to do systems. So the big part is actually these first two steps, to be perfectly honest. So you need to come up with some sort of thing for the variable. Now, what's in common between the two ideas is going to end up being your variable. So, for example, I could use K for kids. You could also use C if you wrote down children. And I could use A for adults. Or as my grandmother would say, adults. Um, so the first equation is going to turn out to be 12K plus 3A is equal to 162. And taking real life and boiling it down. Equation number two, same idea. Eight kids, but we're going to say K plus three adults, which is going to be A, is going to equal 122. And again, the important part about writing this down in English is that if I get down here to the end, and I sit here and I'm like, uh, K equals five or three, and I don't know what that is, I can always go back, and now I can say, wait a second, this makes sense. Look, K, what's mm -hmm. K? Oh, K is kids. All right. Now I know what that is. And so if you write this down, and I know sometimes teachers will say write out and define the variables and stuff. I find that this works a lot easier and clearer just because the context is constantly there. All right, so step three, solve the system. I'm putting an exclamation point. This, it is terribly exciting. So here we go. I've got 12K plus 3A is equal to 162. I have 8K plus 3A is equal to 122. This is going to be the place, and again, elimination is kind of screaming your name. The one thing that people are going to end up making the mistake, don't copy this down, they're going to say, oh, 20K is equal to 284, yay. No, remember, you need opposites. You need zero pairs. Everybody here needs to be multiplied through by negative 1. And that's going to lead us to something that will actually work. So, you know, in your excitement, 
make sure you go slow enough so that you don't make silly mistakes. Because silly mistakes are what cost people jobs and stuff like that. So k is going to equal 10. Now, we're not going to label this right now. We could look back and see what k was. It turns out to be kids. We're going to take care of that in step four. Because we still need to finish solving this. So, I'm going to plug that in. Yeah, I'm going to erase this right here because it looks a little confusing otherwise. So I'm going to take, pick either equation, does not matter. I'm going to take the second one. So 8k, or 8 times 10 now, plus 3a is going to equal 122. So 80 plus 3a plus 122. I'm going to get rid of the 80 on both sides. So 3a is going to equal 42. Divide by 3, divide by 3, a is equal to 40. Circle that because that's important. So step four is summarize your answer. There is nothing worse, and you guys always ask, what do you mean, what do you mean, what do you mean, what do you mean? That's what you're trying to prevent here. If you just write down uh, k equals 10 and a equals 14, it, there's no context. It could be anything. K could be you know, kiwis and A could be aardvarks or avocados, and you have no idea. And you want to sound intelligent. Let's just face it. Life's better. If people understand what you're saying. People are going to want to spend time with you. It's going to be exciting. Anyway, so here we go. So you're going to say this. So, children's tickets to the zoo. Ten dollars and adult tickets are fourteen. Ta-da! Not hard. You just need to do it. Because again, remember, you're going to come back, or your boss is going to come back, or your friend's going to come back, or more importantly, right now, your teacher's going to come back and read it. And if they need to go digging for information, they're going to be very, very annoyed. Make it as simple as possible. So, systems in real life. There's one example. Now, obviously, there's lots and lots of examples. We're not going to go through it. But the same four steps always hit there. So, thanks for your attention. Comment below. Like, subscribe, add, subtract, multiply, divide, integrate by parts, whatever you want. Talk to you later. See you later.